Hello everyone, and welcome to Harv's World for Episode 7 of the Pacific Northwest. So, as our last episode wrapped up, we were finishing up some baling, silage bales, putting them in the barn. And since then, I have spent the night doing contracts, lots and lots of contracts. And as you can see, our cash is back up to $203,000. Not only that but I traded in our fertilizer sprayer for a few thousand to pick up this beauty the Horsch fertilizer spreader now a lot of these contracts were for fertilizing obviously and I just uh, because the fields down here are so large needed something to get the job done a little quicker I'll show you if we go into our our menu look at our fertilizer technology the horse fertilizer spreader 10.000 whatever all that means well it means it'll hold 10,000 liters that means we can go a long way more importantly it's got a 36 meter spread and now that's our baby so not only did I put another 105,000 or so into our account I picked up the 51 grand that allowed me to purchase this and the first thing I'm going to do, because it actually is pretty darn lucrative to throw a worker on this while we do something else, is pick up this uh, fertilizing contract on field 25. We are going to jump right over there, get him working, and then I need to clear our fields. We've got everything ready to harvest. So that's a canola field, two canola fields, and a wheat field that we need to uh, to get cleared off. And then it's going to be time to make a couple decisions as far as expanding our fields. Um, I've got a general plan in my mind. I think what we're going to end up doing is doing some merging and the little fent here is mostly up to the task. The good thing is all of the land down here in the valley is flat. So the fent doesn't have to work too hard to get this thing rolling. And it does just fine once it gets in the field. see see how dirty this thing is already fertilizer was flying for a long time last night but we need to start advancing this farm and the money was just coming in a little too slow and time is moving a little too slow also I want things to speed up a little bit I've been playing it in real time and uh, I think it's time to boost that up to five times speed. Okay. There you go, Mr. Worker. Let me know when you're done. And obviously I have the harvester set up and ready to go. We are not wasting time this morning. Got a lot want to get done. So, I will see you when these fields are clear.
finished up the harvest on all three of our fields. We've got canola and we've got wheat in the in the silo at the moment. Haven't taken anything to be sold off yet. Just delivering the last of the wheat from field 10 over there. Gonna drop it in the silo also. And I will show you what our fertilizer spreader's been up to. As you can see, we've made a uh, a respectable sum of money there in the time that the harvest took place. Now the the good fertilizer contracts have pretty much dried up at the moment. I'm going to wait and see. I've got our spreader down at the store. Just hoping some of those big fields pop up again. But While we were harvesting, our spreader did field 27, 29, 31, and 34. So it moves along at a good clip. It does not waste any time. Now. It's time to work on our fields, but not in the way you might be thinking. Maybe you are. I don't know. But... I want to do some merging. <clears throat> that assumes that I, I, I do this every time. Every bloody time. You'd think you would get better at it. It's the reverse angle, I swear to God it is. And the fact that I have a nasty habit of oversteering like crazy. Okay, that's going to have to do for now. Let's grab this weight. couple things I'll show you real quick. Our trees are finally starting to grow. They actually are starting to look like trees, although that might just be Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. And something else that I did last night before I started all those contracts, I said I was going to do it and that it needed to be done. I've expanded our horses. I picked up four more horses, got them all fed and watered, and we are on our way there. Now, at one point I was thinking... No, I wasn't. I don't think very often, and that's part of my problem. <laughs> okay. I was talking about merging all of these fields these two and then the one across the way. I've since changed my mind about that. Um, I am going to merge this, the... I am going to merge fields 11 and 12, however. And so... We drop our plow. I turned on create fields. And that's about all it takes.
Now what I plan to do once these are all merged and, and prepped and ready is I'm going to turn all of this into grass. I'm really expecting to have around 500 cattle. That's my goal anyway. And so that's going to take a lot of feed. Just lots and lots of feed. So I really think having more more grass fields working for us the better and not only am I going to merge these fields I'm going to expand them a little bit and this is all grass along the edges anyway and so it might as well be grass that we can fertilize and maximize See over there, our little trees coming up. Someday we'll make money off of them. Not a quick process. But then again, neither are the horses, so... All of that might just hit about the same time, and... We'll get a nice big payoff all at once. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye on these contracts. Because I know there's some big stuff coming. And I want to make sure that I can take advantage of it when it does. Yeah, looks about right. Not the prettiest job that ever was. But it's grass. How pretty does it need to be? I'm going to continue merging these fields.
there we have it. The fields have been merged, and I am going to end up plowing just all of that. Simply because I want everything on the same schedule. So that... Uh, I can keep track of it a little bit better. Now, since this field has recently been taken care of, I feel like we can make a little bit more use out of this space over here also. And so I am going to expand this field as well. Because I have a plan for field 22, the one over by the farmhouse. And so I want to maximize our space up on creating fields would be a good idea there. Harv. There we go. So anyway, as I was saying, I've got a plan for field 22 over by the farmhouse. And so I want to maximize this space as much as I possibly can. Should be about right. So, yeah, um, Field Twenty Two is going to be where our livestock pens are. I imagine that we'll end up having a couple. Two sounds about right. If I could get two cattle barns and pastures with say 400 cows apiece I would be pretty pleased with that. That should give us a goodly amount of milk to uh, to sell off every day, or every couple days at least, enough that those cows will start paying back. Or paying for themselves, I should say. And yes, I realize I'm plowing up my road, but I don't care because it's my road. And if I want to plow my road, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I spent good money. Hard-earned money to... Uh, have this road. And frankly, there's still plenty of road there. It's not like I can't get through. I figure I'll just have a bunch of no trespassing signs up anyway. Isn't that what you always see when you uh, come across big farmland? There's a lot of no trespassing signs. It was really that way in Idaho. You drive out along any any highway, and of course there's a lot of uh, rangeland, free range. Well, not free range in this case, but, you know, rangeland or pastures. And there were no trespassing signs posted everywhere. Which I, you know, guess in this age of I want to sue everybody for looking at me the wrong way. 
makes sense. You've had fair warning. You're not allowed to be on this property. And you never know what might happen. But, you know, I guess if I had several hundred thousand dollars worth of animal and land, I wouldn't want people coming in messing with it. So, yeah, like I said, the two fields I merged over there, those are all going to become grass. We are going to be making hay and silage like crazy. This field here is going to be where our crops are growing. For now, a lot of oats. Because with oats, I can sell them. I can use them for horse food. And they generate straw, which will be collecting for the cattle also. The cows are going to take plenty of straw. I realized after I harvested the wheat field that the straw swath was not turned on brilliantly. Nice going there, hard. That's okay, one field's not going to break us. check those contracts real quick. Oh, there we go. Field 33 for the win, 22,500. pallets of fertilizer just to make sure he's full because that is a massive field. I always say he. In this case it's true. It is a he, so I'm safe this time. Don't uh, mean anything by it. I guess it's just a habit. Honestly, 10,000 liters should be plenty. I, I know it's plenty. It'll get through this with no problem, but it's not like there aren't going to be other fields. Field 35 is sitting there, and I know the contract on that's going to be coming up pretty soon. That's the biggest field in the uh, on the map, and the fertilizing on that pays really well. I mean, 33 here is good. 35 is great. used to the sprayer and its width on the fields and this is quite a bit quite a bit different. And you can see I still ended up just a little narrow but not too bad. Alright, let's get back to that plowing.
Once I get down this row, why are we slowing up so bad? See if I can straighten this up a little bit along this edge. It was kind of weird. I was going along and I was thinking, oh, the map maker Epideth blocked this stuff from being plowed, but I think I might have just been at such a weird angle that uh, that was not genuinely the case. Once you get some plow lines in the ground too, it's much easier to keep a straight line. You know that uh, where you're going is exactly where you want to be. Not the smoothest ride through there, but... Okay, that takes care of that. Now I wonder, I've got extended field info on. And no, it's not going to tell me. So, if you look in the right hand corner here. It says the field 10 area is 3.94 acres. Well, it was 3.94 acres before I plowed this in, so it's taking the map data, apparently. Which I did not realize at the time. But now I know. same will happen right here. That's okay, it'll still give us a, a decent idea of uh, what we're up against. Or what we can expect off the field, I should say. Now, the only real problem with this area right here, this field in particular, it's a good sized field. I kind of hate to lose it all, but it's going to require some pretty serious landscaping so that we don't end up spending a small fortune to place everything on it. You see how rolling it is? That shouldn't be too much of a problem, but if we go into our landscaping tool... And since we have to do so much, I'm going to grow this up a little bit. And what I want to do is flatten. Once so we're at 227 right now, and if I start flattening this... And that's two grand. Three. So, as you can see, we are having to raise this up 
quite a bit. You can see that drop off there now. And I wonder if I went in to put in a cow pasture. And I had an idea of which one I wanted to use. I don't have enough money, so I can't even test that. And um, and it's going to be the the large ones. I definitely want to use definitely. I definitely want to use the large ones. Yeah, see that'll barely hold the small one. So we're not even close to having room for the large one yet. So it's going to take a lot of landscaping to to level this off, and that's fine. I'll just do it a little bit at a time. Right now I am going to finish up all the plowing on these fields, get them nice and even. And I will check in with you later. So that finishes up the field merger here. Everything is nicely planted. Now one thing that we know for sure is anytime you plow or merge a field like that, or create a new field I should say, you do need to lime it. Our grass field here needed lime anyway. And field 10 is calling for lime also. That works out well because we just did part of it, and so throwing lime on top of that will serve our purposes. That'll take care of the uh, the newly plowed area too. So the 11 and 12 merger and 10 all need to be limed up. We are going to take care of that. We're going to seed them. This one obviously with grass. Field 10 with oats. And you have seen plenty of that over the last few episodes, so we are going to do a quick compilation of lime spreading, fertilizing, and seeding. 
as soon as I get this stuff repaired up. Grab our lime spreader. And I'll see you when these fields are fully prepped. can see our fields are all completely prepped, planted, seeded I guess I should say technically, and they are growing. We've gotten late in the day, we're losing the light, and our fertilizer contracts dried up, but we did manage to bring in that big one so we're up to $240,951, not too shabby. Let me go put this uh, cedar away. And I'm trying to decide now that we've got some extra money. And I'm sure we'll have more by the time uh, you see this see us again. I'm trying to decide what to do with that, those funds. It might be time to upgrade some equipment. I think we could use a little bigger planter, although right now we're only planting the one field. But I don't expect that to, uh, that to be the case much longer. There's a field I've got my eye on. It just happens to be expensive, so do I upgrade the equipment, or do I save up the cash for that next plot of land? 
or do I get the landscaping done on field 22, get it all smoothed out, and hopefully prep for cattle barn. And I want to see, we might have just enough money now to start looking at the sizing for our cattle before we wrap up for the day. We still have a little bit of light we can work with here. Again, I know the plot's not big enough, but let's just take a look at the cattle one more time. Animal pens, where's that one that I wanted? Yeah, this one holds 400. Yep, okay. No, I don't have enough money. I guess I could have looked at the price before I clicked on it. Oh well, life will go on. So I guess we'll do that next time around. But for now, I think we are going to call this an episode. It's probably pretty short because we did an awful lot of field work and I'll bet you got to watch a whole bunch of uh, time lapse. So until next time, I appreciate you coming along for the ride and we'll see you then. Take care.